With isolation and loneliness labelled as key challenges, now is the time to focus on kindness. But what could you do to encourage more kindness in communities? That was the question we asked working with seven organisations in different communities across Scotland. Our findings are set out in full in the Place of Kindness report. Here, people we met along the way talk about what matters in the places we have to meet, gather or just bump into each other, the opportunities we have to make connections and build relationships and the values which underpin our care for one another in communities. When somebody comes through the door, it really is up to them what they want to do. And we don't have outcomes to tick a box to ensure that we have 20% of people doing something um, because everybody is different. And that individuality is the bit that helps us, all of us together, find the talents for every person that comes through. My husband had dementia and I was totally focused on looking after him. And then he was taken into care and had a huge void, had a loads of space and nothing to do. And I looked in the local paper and saw the advert for the knitting group. So I just came along and from the minute I walked in the door I was made welcome. I didn't have to talk, I could sit quietly. I don't now, but I did then. <laughs> and, uh, and was just made to feel welcome. The first thing we do mostly is to get a cup of tea or coffee and there's often cake as well and it all helps you to feel at home. I like the atmosphere, it's friendly, it accepts everybody and all their weirdness. Um, you're very much allowed to be yourself and you're very much encouraged to pursue whatever it is that you want to do and whatever you're interested in. When I come here I find it easier to talk to people because on the outside I'm a loner and usually I stay to myself. Um, but you come in here and everyone is so kind and friendly that you find it easier to talk to than you do on the people on the outside. Tesco Mary Hill is the first store where I have seen such a wide involvement from the rest of the store and in getting involved within the community. The relationships that you see day in, day out that the colleagues have with the customers as they're coming in to do their shop, the kindness, this is really the first store where I've seen it so widespread across the rest of the store. I love coming here and love this wee shopping centre and the staff and it, they'll talk to me every morning. I can get a fire escalator in and there's a staff waiting to talk to you. The community is key to the store and to the colleagues, the community, they, they go out actually looking for community work to do and we've got such a big hub round about us, but coming into the store first and foremost is the attitude of the colleagues. It's the, they come to work to have a great day. Oh, it's great to be the community champion. Um, you feel a sense of belong. So everybody's just in the one community. We're all together. Great store to work in. That's just like one big happy family. You are more prone towards being kind when you're seeing so many other people do it. It keeps you thinking about the customers first rather than thinking about what you've got to achieve that day or what you've got to do that day. This is the badge that we designed. It was based on the Food Train logo uh, with a handshake Food Train colours and it simply says Friendly Dumfries. And this was the key to um, the volunteers being signed up. We asked them to wear the badge to indicate that they were approachable and willing to be spoken to. These are people that would help uh, point people in the right direction, have a small conversation with them that day and generally ask how are you today? So this was the trigger for conversations. What it made me much more conscious of is about my presence and being able to smile at people and making that connection with people and I found that was really helpful. And by doing that and by smiling at people, you got an acknowledgement. People smiled back and maybe said hello or made some comment. And I thought that was really important. So it gave me a new awareness of how much you have got to make an effort to be able to be friendly to people. So we have a huge range of things for people to do. Um, we have knitting, painting, um, sewing, 
lots of textile stuff. We have art classes, we have um, things like glass fusing, uh, metal work, uh, welding, woodwork, a massive range of things for all different people, all different ages. There's been lots and lots of people over the years. The great thing and the, and the really good decision we made at the beginning was to try to be self-funded. It's enabled us to uh, work with any ages, any backgrounds, any abilities. So we are here for the whole of the community. I think there are plenty of opportunities to go and meet other people if you take that half step. Uh, I've lived in other places than Dumfries and um, I've always found people want to come to you and if you take that half step, they'll come to you as well. As you get older, friends become important. Uh, so therefore you've got to try and make an effort with them and not ignore them, you know, if, even if it's just an email. You know, something to keep in touch with people. You've got to keep in touch. People, uh, they can be having a really rough time and uh, if you smile and say hello to them, that's enough to lift them up and say, well, it's not as bad as what I thought it was. I always smile at people and it makes all the difference because they smile back and it starts a conversation. You're very conscious of maybe receiving kindness when you've maybe been in a period of your own life which has been difficult. But once you kind of get through that stage, you realise that you've kind of got to be comfortable in your own skin and that process means that you are much more then conscious of other people and seeing their needs and reaching out may just be an acknowledgement of where they are or a conversation or a smile or something but you have got to be comfortable in your own self and feel comfortable that you can approach people. It may be a mixture of just wanting to come in, have a chat every week and a cup of tea and a biscuit. Or it could be something about them learning a skill and developing. But for the majority of people, when they first come here, they really don't know what they want to do. So if you just stand there and say, do you want to be involved in this project or that project? It can take anything up to a year and a half, two years, and even longer for people to really find out what's in their heart and what they want to do. And if you're in a situation where you have lost hope, and there doesn't seem to be opportunities and you forget about yourself. The very first thing you have to go through is that connection and start to believe in yourself and enjoy things. I'm very conscious that what does community mean and people talking about a lack of community spirit. But my argument is we've got to make an effort ourselves. We've all got to make a contribution to that. It's not the local authority or some other group. We play a part in that. We are part of that community. And I think unless we start to do something at a grassroots level, communities will not survive. We always recognise people that go beyond do either job. Um, and that's from, you know, helping customers. I mean, recently, you know, Gavin actually left in the shopping for um, Willie that was always here, that was here every single day, but we noticed he was getting more poorly and poorly every day. And Gavin would like, take his shopping and take it right to his door for him so he wasn't you know, getting out of breath and getting made it feel worse, made it feel simpler with him just chatting to him. If the world is a good place and Tesco is a great community source to be used, I want to come into work and feel valued, and I do. And I want customers to feel valued too, and I feel that they do, and that's why they return to this store. Kindness to me means just treating people as you would want to be treated yourself and treat people as people so that you, you don't walk past somebody just because they don't dress the way you dress, you just speak to everybody. Kindness means everything, if you're not going to be kind to somebody then there's no point, so kindness is everything. Kindness to me means people sharing, trusting in each other, encouraging each other and being gentle with each other. Kindness, people that care about each other, willing to help each other. Having a good sense of humour and, and being approachable to people. I think kindness, to me, is a true opening of your heart. And it's a true belief 
in the talents and abilities and the love that everybody can share.